Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D teacher tutorial. So in the last tutorial we have seen introduction about the Duitween, how to import the Duitween and how to uh, use inside your project, how to get from where from where to get everything. So here we have a Duitween plugin here. So we are going to use or uh, how to we are going to see how to use that. So in this tutorial we are going to see Duitween transform moments. So these are the elements we are going to see do do move do move x and do jump so let's see how to do that in this tutorial so in order to uh, so movements yeah normally we can able to do for example we have a one game object so to move this we are going to use transform dot translate in normal unity script so instead of doing that between will reduce your script time and coding coding reduction I mean a shorthand in that form of a shorthand you can able to do that so let's see how to do that so I'm going to move this cube uh, let's name it as player so I'm going to move the player from 0 to 14 okay I mean for 13 will be okay okay I'm going to move to 14 okay 14 we are going to move to this 14 in coding so let's get to 0 okay let's see how to do that so in order to control a script I'm going to make one controller so this object is going to control everything so let's save the screen scene before that let's go to the scene and say that do tween in transform moments okay so let's create a script called trans mover okay so drag and drop a controller trans mover over here open the trans mover So I'm going to create pub. Uh, in, before that, you want to implement the namespace. In order to use a do tween, you want to implement the namespace called dg. Dot tweening. So it will contain every element which is required for do tween. So before that, you want to implement this plugin. You implement this namespace in your coding. Okay. So public game object player. Is called as player so this player got transform in the transform you're going to use this first syntax doom so normally it's called do move So it's going to move in a particular position. So new vector three dot x y should be zero and z should be zero. So I'm going to make to fifteen. Okay. And then the speed of your movement. So it's let's make it as one, not more than that. This is a one x speed. So let's see how to work. So go to the controller, drag and drop the player and hit play so now you can able to see that object moving from play I mean the player moving from 0 to position 15 so even you can able to increase the speed and decrease the speed using this this thing if it will if you make it two, it will be a little bit slower if you make a 0 0.2 yeah fit it with a little bit faster speed so like this you can able to do that so this is one form of a thing and then we have and you can able to make not even a not even X you can able to manipulate X and y. X and Y this is Y X we done 
so we are going to manipulate x and y so for example i am going to make y to 15 and then i to 1 maybe i to 5 it will be great so i to 5 so it's going to move the position x to 15 and y to 5 let's see how it's worked save the project and hit play so i'll make a speed to 1 can able to see that yeah, it's moving in X and also in Y so this was a nice thing you can able to manipulate using the between plugin so if you like to move in only one axis you can simply write like this uh, you can simply write do move X so player dot transform dot do move x so this is generally move only in a particular position so x should be not should be in vector 3 uh, so i am making to 15 because it's going to have only one position and then the speed so player dot transform dot do move x 15 0 0.0, .0. If you like to make move on y position, you can able to make to y. Do move y. So it should move y. I mean the height. I'm sorry, I try. I forget to comment the x. Okay. So that's why it's moved in the X also. Okay, now you can be able to see the player is in 15. So like this way you can even move in Z direction also. So player dot transform dot do move Z. Just change to from 2D and then you can able to see that. So you can do so. Okay, you can able to see it's it has been moved in Z position. So like this you can able to move in a particular axis or different axis or you can manipulate an XY Z and XY something like of combination. So next we are going to see do jump. Do jump is nothing but uh, for example uh, let me reset the position. So this is a position. So I want to make my object to jump from this position to this position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make as this as end pose. So I want to make my player to jump like this over here. Okay. To do this, I'm going to write a coding. So player dot do jump. I mean player dot transform dot without transform nothing will happen so you want to get a transform and then you want to do since it's a transform system every moment will contain inside the transform do jump okay and then new vector 3 so it's going to add x y and z so let me check what is the impression 10 okay 10 10 10 0 0 10 0 0 and then the jump height jump height let's make it as 5 10 divided by 2 5 and then we are going to have 
number of jumps jumps and then float delay delay means uh, how much duration one and then snapping let's make it as snapping to true so this is the syntax let me tell you what is the syntax so player dot transform do jump is a default and then the vector 3 vector 3 position xyz and height of the jump and then number of jumps okay and then speed and then snap speed so this is the syntax we have applied over here let's see how it work okay now you can able to see that it's jumping from one portion player portion to end portion perfectly what we have given to 10 so we'll try to smooth it out it's look like a jerking hand right so you can able to see it look like jerking so it's nothing but you want to disable the snapping so it will move smoothly yeah you can also increase the uh, speed thing let's make it as 2 2 will be a little bit less speed I think yeah you can if you like to 0 0.5 it will be faster And then you can increase the number of jumps I need three jumps within the destination so it will jump three times and it will reach the destination let's see oh sorry I forgot to do that maximize on play and then uh, we can't able to see that yeah maybe I'll try to increase my speed then only we can't it that's why you can't able to see that jumping one two three yeah make it two x speed so it will make a three jump and then reach to the destination yeah so like that you can able to make a jumping here and how much height let me increase i 15 so y should be 15 go and then it will reach the destination you can see now it will reach to 15 and then reach to the destination in this way you can able to manipulate these portions even you can give y is it so you can even target directly in post and refer the game object in post dot transform dot x portion dot x okay in post dot transform dot portion dot y so you can tweak the object wherever you like so before that drag and drop the controller over here and post to the top and you can move accordingly so it will move perfectly wherever you like to give so wherever the in post it will work according to that jump will be work according to that so see let me tweak it bit here yeah let me tweak this portion yeah it will move smoothly and then you can increase number of jumps also four jumps
so this is it so in this video we have covered between transfer movement do move do move x do move do jump so this is it if you like to get all the reference of a scripting what we have seen here you can find in unity 3d teacher archive.blogspot.com i'll put the link in the description you'll just check or uh, if you like to have the scripting things while you working on the coding part you can refer this